The strike at Namdeb is in its 15th day today and has cost the company and government over $100 million to date. MUN and Namdeb last week came close to signing an agreement, but the union backtracked at the 11th hour, charging that the conditions set by Namdeb for the settlement were unreasonable. Maintaining that the union demand is justified, MUN cited record profits the company made over the past three years. Besides, the MUN said, the company management has been giving itself adjustments amounting to 32%. Hence the demand of 15% for the bargaining unit is inclusive of both the adjustment and annual increment. The union further said that the high demand is necessitated by the fact that number of employees use their basic wages to buy houses since they don't receive housing allowances. They have been accommodated in old colonial type of accommodation such as compounds and hostels and the company forfeited the housing allowance claiming that the employees are getting free accommodation and utilities. However, NAMDEP through its lawyers informed the union that the company wishes to end the suffering endured by the striking workers as a result of no work, no pay principle and wants a speedy resolution of the strike. It made clear that its final position is 9.5% salary increase, 80% company contribution to medical aid, and 14% housing allowance for this year. For 2015 and 2016, the company offers 7.5% salary increase, a new medical aid, and CPI plus 1% on housing allowance for employees in a bargaining unit.